Alright. Hi guys, welcome to my shitty duck profile once again. Hey man, don't talk yourself down like that. Shut the fuck up, Miles. Be as cool as a spy kid. Just, uh, on Dragon World. Da -dun. It's, you know, one of the only Dragon World decks, because that's how Buddy Fight is. There's only one deck for each world. Yeah. Right, so whenever Jose and I fight with our two Dragon World decks, it's just a mirror match. Yeah, 100%. Uh, this deck's YouTuber themed. <laughs> I, let's start it, this shit off. Dragon right. Blood Sect, why not Dragon Blood Core? Anyways, the my. Sex is core! Oh. Stop. <laughs> That's not a nice touch. That's my buddy, uh. Husk blood. Hold on. Do I pronounce the crosses that are on there? <laughs> yes. So, cross husk blood eyes, cross deadly eyes. His call cost is pay what three gauge. <laughs> this is Jesus. What are you talking True. about? Yeah, Jesus had really deadly eyes. Right, call cost is pay three gauge. Put the top four cards of your deck into the soul. At the start of your opponent's attack phase, choose all standing monsters on your opponent's field. For this turn, nullify the abilities of the chosen cards, and they must all attack this card. For, uh, for the first battle, if able. Then this card counterattacks all of your opponent's monsters. Then it has double attack, so I'll guard and counterattack. Richard, can I pee on you? No. This is what That's what the duck does. It pees on your opponent. <laughs> Do you he, like Akamaru? I love Akamaru! God, he deserves so much better. <gasps> so yeah, four copies of this piece of shit. Uh, so yeah, my buddy, it's really cool. You're watching... Destroying all of your opponent's shit is fun. Next, we run a two-of copy of the original Bloody Eyes. Its skill is... <laughs> call cost, pay two gauge, put the top three cards of your deck into its soul. When a monster on your opponent's field is destroyed by card effects, deal one damage to your opponent. At the start of your opponent's attack phase, choose a monster at stand on your opponent's field. For this turn, nullify the abilities of the chosen card. And that card must attack this card alone first for this attack face of Ab if able. So that's the whole gimmick of this deck. Able is that a Cain and Able reference? Oh my God, I wish. <laughs> so the whole gimmick of this deck is to force your opponent to attack and nullify their abilities. So that's. that's and what else? That's pretty much it. No, the point is to also proc abilities off of the destruction. Hold on, I haven't gotten to those zeros <laughs> yet, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Sorry, I'm spoiling it for you. God, this is just like the time you spoiled the ending to Naruto for me. How was I supposed to know he was going to become the Hokage? God, you fucking moron. I run four Countless Blades, Eternity to Edge. What you do with him is uh, shove him into the soul, then you draw. And if it's in the soul, your uh, the unit that has it in the soul gains 3k penetrate and a crit. Burn it at four because it's fucking important. Speaking of important cards, I run. It's real. Four. Uh, this is what are you? Riding along Santa Monica. Foul Snoop Dark Lurker. Zach skill <laughs> is shove it into the soul. Uh, Second skill is Souls and Dragon Blood Sect. With this card in its soul, cannot be dropped by your opponent's card effects, so your opponent can't drag out drag out Vario, but they can drag out Voryu. <laughs> Thank you, Miles. <laughs> and then uh, second skill is during your opponent's turn, if this card is in the soul of a Dragon Blood Sect, when your opponent's monsters are destroyed by your card effects, put the top card of your put the top card of your deck into your gauge and gain one life. And finally. The last size two I run is a one of of Soot Shackles Black Chain. I'd shit run it. Shackles? Soot Shackles. Uh, like Soot. Shit. Sure. Skill is shoved into the soul. Um, draw a card. Then when you take that, if this isn't the soul of a Dragon mm -hmm. Blood Sect, damage you take is reduced by one. I'd run more of it. But it's like a $30 card, and I have no fucking idea how to get Send more. Send us more money, or those cards. Please? Now, more shit that goes into the soul. Four Cumrag. Its skill is shove it into the soul, and then get, charge one. Second skill is the when the unit that has this in the soul attacks, the destroy, some, the destroy a card in your opponent's field. <laughs> We're at size zeros now. This is uh, Dark Dream Shadow Serve. When a monster in your opponent's field is destroyed, if you have another Dragon Blood sucked on your field, uh, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and draw a card. And this card thing only activates once per turn. It also has move. 
for some reason. Dude. It's so your item can attack. <sighs> please, please ignore Richard. For the love of God, ignore him. <laughs> Uh, I just read the text you sent me when I sent you that picture of Venom with his ass cheeks, like, and you said, Venom better be careful, I'm gonna eat up his ass if he keeps it up. Yeah. That was great. Uh, four death, dead current death bolt. When a monster in your opponent's field is destroyed, if you have another dragon blood sucked on your field, your opponent, uh, discards a card from their hand, and this ability only activates once per turn. Disability? That's what I have! <laughs> I run, what the fuck? These names are fucking it. awful. Bloodstained Dark Princess Marrow Ellis. If you would call a Dragon Blood set, the gauge cost written in this call cost is reduced by one. Second skill is when this card enters the field, you may discard a card. If you do, put up to one Dragon Blood set monster with eyes in its card name from your deck into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So it's your searcher, you're effectively running ten um, uh, monsters with eyes in their card name with that thing on the. So. It's nice. Next, I'm running Grand Entrance Grazioso at four. Oh, uh, I have to read it off. You can only cast you can only cast this if you have a Dragon Blood Suck on your field. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one from among them into your gauge. Put one into your hand, and put the rest into your drop zone, or put them into the soul. Uh, and you can only cast this once per turn. So. Add all, any of the shit that you want from that gets put into the soul and gives your, uh, I was about to say Vanguard, your size 3 abilities. <laughs> Speaking of putting things into the soul, I run for uh, Red Wave Scarlet Finger Nulls the Attack, and after it. F. What? <laughs> You heard that? Yes, I did, Miles. <laughs> you're not. You're not quiet. That's some mighty fine hearing you got. A uh, skill is um, when you guard, you nullify an attack, and then choose a card from your drop zone and put it into the soul of a monster on your field. Next, I run three drag out of bar. Cast cost is drop. Drop a card from your field and pay one gauge. Choose one of the following two. Choose a monster in your opponent's field, drop all souls from that card and destroy it. Destroy a card on your opponent's field if you do draw a card. So, there's a card that I want to get rid of that has a lot of soul. I'll just use this and destroy it, obviously. Next, I run four King of the Dawn. Well, you may only cast this if you have a Dragon Blood sucked on your field. Put up to one card in your drop zone into the soul of a Dragon Blood sucked monster in your field, then put the top card of your deck into your gauge. Draw a card. You can only cast this once per turn. I don't want to see it too often in my hand, so I only run it at three. Ah. I run three Prohibited Ceremony Taboos Ritual. Put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge, then if you have a size three Dragon Blood sucked on your field, you gain two life. Draw a card. You can only activate this once per turn. That's what a lot of these spells are. I run two Dragon on Judge. Uh, what do you do? You may only cast this if you have a Dragon Blood Suck monster in your field. Cast cost, pay one life. Choose a Dragon Blood Suck monster in your field. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Put two from among them into the chosen card soul. And put uh, the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. You can only cast this once per turn. I'd run this at three. But I see it. I, I see it often enough at two, so it's fine. And finally, my uh, fuck you Garga card. Hey. It's Spirit Echo Rison D Tree. Put this card. Skill is put it into the soul of a Dragon Blood sect on your field. If this card is in the soul of a Dragon Blood sect, your opponent cannot call monsters from drop zone. So, uh, f what are the cards that screw that screw you over, Miles? Uh, combat deities. Radiant Glory or something. Combat yeah. Deities Shine Radiant Glory. Is that the only one it screws over or what else? It Jeevos from Drop, that's literally it. But like, that's a big play. Yeah. And then it gives your monster move. Finally, four items. Uh... Oh! 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 Oh, Richard! You sack of shit! What did he do to you? God! I forgot that Twitter allows that content and I just wasn't thinking about it. 
The items equip cost is pay one gauge and pay one life. This card can attack even if you have a dragon blood sucked on your center. So Richard was wrong about attacking, uh, well, moving my monster so I can attack with my item. Yeah, that's basically this channel. Richard's stupid. Leave a like. If you made it this far, comment whether or not you want us. No, tell us that you want us to change the channel name to Richard is stupid. Uh, Show me. All right, all dragon blood suck monsters on your field cannot be destroyed by opponent's card I'm effects. Sure that was and damage that you take other than by attacks are reduced by one. Are they? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know. All right, uh, next is my sideboard. Let's see what the fuck I have in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oof. Take one of those out. All right, two chest break. It's to say fuck you to um, Chaos Dragon. What else does it screw over, Miles? Uh, who are you? What? What else does chest break fuck over? Uh, it's mainly meant for Max Dragon. So like, yeah, that's Max Dragon. They're dominating the meta right now, so it's just yeah. How about it? Three loyalty. Oh, so like, you know, any other. But you you only sideboard it for Max Dragons. So to all of you out there who never have to fight side Max Dragons and don't worry about major competitive play, don't bother getting chest break. They're $7 a piece, and we yeah. got uh, six of them for free. Yes, yeah, so just <laughs> shout out to my boy. Um, what's, it, uh, what's their Facebook page called? Uh, Salt and Games. Okay, Salt and Games. Shout out to them. Like, follow them on Facebook. Like them on Twitter. Go to them at Frank's. Um, one more uh, Raisin Dodge Rare in case I fight... Um, raisin Deeter. Yeah, Raisin the Leader in case I fight Garga and I really want to piss him off. Miles is looking at me in pain. Two Lost World. Because it's fun. <laughs> also, cause, also because... Also um, because this new Bloody Eyes is a Lost Vader, so... It works with it. And finally, two, um, buddy block. Because that's all you need. What does it do, though? What do you do? And why is it useful? Cast cost is pay one gauge, counter, choose and use one of the following two. For this turn, the next damage you take is reduced by three. Which you never use it for. And use it for the other skill, which, when your opponent's card attack four times or more during this turn, for this turn, you do not take battle damage from attacks. So, yeah. Good you, against multi-attacking. Which is the meta, right? Uh... What a lot of good decks you Aside from uh, Max Dragons. Astro uh, Dragons. Astro Dragons. Any deck Garga. with Garga in it. Um, Dimension Dragon slash Lost World Turbo. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Not... Ecor. If anything, the only things that it changes is, like, replace my sideboard option of this with another chest break. But I just do this because I play against Miles a lot and I like to piss him off. Anyways, that's my duck profile. I'm not even sure if this was recording, so... Ah. That's yikes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Naruto. Oh, I just got to the part where the bone dude Kimimaro? Kimimaro, yeah. Where I get it, because Mero and Maro... That's not the joke. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It, it is to me, Miles. I just got to the part where he dies of a heart attack and... Stop, Miles. Stop. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I, just... I will never leave you. You know I listened to, to that song a lot when my dog died? Yeah. It made me was... really sad. Yeah. But it's such like a... It's such a cleansing song. God. Yugi Kawamura... If you're out there and watching this video, please sponsor us. Where do I press the... Uh, oh yeah, I didn't even talk about Naruto. I just got to the part where he died, and Gara and Rock Lee apparently are best dead. friend. <laughs> he says it like that. Right? He is dead! He <laughs> Gabe, has died! Gabe loves that scene. He showed up to school one day and was like, Guys, I was high last night watching the scene where Kibimaro died, and I forgot that in the dub, Lee is just like, He is dead! He has officially died! <laughs> Fucking Rock Lee's my favorite character. I don't care that he's an incel. <laughs> I love that. Where do I? Okay, incel. that's enough. Where do I press the button to stop recording?